Hi friends, it's Raven. So I am an avid glasses wearer. I've tried contacts in the past and I'm just, I'm too lazy. I'd rather just whip on some glasses. So I decided recently to upgrade my eyeglass game and get some more creative pairs. Usually I'm a pretty like basic standard frame kind of person, but I found this company called Vugumi through TikTok and they have the coolest and the most unique and creative frames I've ever seen. Some of them are way too out there for me, um, but I figured they were a good start for me to branch out into more creative frames. So again, back in December, I bought them, so it did not come out of my no spend challenge budget. Um, but I think the total was like $120 or something for six prescription pairs of glasses and a holder to keep them all. So I'm going to do a review of my six pairs. If that's something you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to get up close and personal with you guys, so ignore all the little details of my face. But um, this is the first pair that I got, and I absolutely love them. I'm definitely a clear frames person because I feel like they go with everything. They match every outfit. You can see your makeup nicely through them, and they are just really good for any outfit, any occasion. Um, so I absolutely love these ones. The plastic is super sturdy. The metal is super sturdy. It has these really cute little diamonds on the side, and I love the like cut out geometric shape of them like it almost reminds me of like crystals or something like how fun is that and it like just bounces the light off really nicely I love it um they fit my face really nicely like I know sometimes my nose can get like my nose is just a little bit crooked so sometimes my glasses sit funny but I feel like these ones actually sit really nicely on my face they're comfortable they aren't too tight they aren't too loose um because I know like if I go to the eye, I usually go to America's Best for my glasses and usually you have to get them adjusted after you get them and most of the time I have to have them fix it somehow. But like with these, they just fit perfectly. Um, yeah, so that is that. And of course, I also had to get them in black and this one is black with gold, but it still has the diamonds on the side and it has that really fun like geometric cutout. Like how fun is that? Um... I don't know, like, it's it's so different for me. I'm so used to, like, really basic frames that this is, like, really crazy for me. But I love it. It's very fun. Like, it's a very fun frame. And again, the plastic is durable. Like, they seem, like, really good quality. And the prescription on these is absolutely perfect. I was kind of nervous because it was so cheap. Like, is the prescription going to be off? You know, I was kind of afraid maybe they messed something up or maybe I messed something up typing it in. But the prescription is absolutely perfect. As soon as I put them on, I was like, yeah, I can see. So no complaints on the prescription at all. And the quality for these are actually really nice. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised by that considering how cheap it is. This next pair is definitely out there for me. And as you can see, like I said, my face is kind of crooked. So I feel like they kind of sit funny, but maybe I just have to like adjust them. I don't know. But I don't know, like I always wanted this like tortoise shell style and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. The fact that these frames are so cheap, like I really couldn't go wrong with, you know, if they didn't like them or they didn't fit my face right, then I really wasn't out that much money. So, I don't know. It's kind of fun. I thought this would be cute with like a brown outfit or, I don't know, just to spice things up. And I was a little nervous too about having the bigger frame because it covers up my eyebrows and I feel like it makes me look like even balder than I actually am. Um, but then I realized like I animate a lot, like I lift my eyebrows a lot, so I'm really not that worried about it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Being a bald girl too, I feel like I can, that really allows me to express even more through my accessories. So I usually wear like crazy earrings um, or I like to do my makeup more and I figured glasses would also be kind of a fun way to like jazz up the fact that I don't have hair that I can jazz up. You know, like most people can do different fun things with their hair and since I don't have that option, I was like, I might as well get some fun glasses to do that with. <laughs> Okay, I think this pair is probably my favorite out of the whole bunch because they look like cat ears and they give you that cat eye shape and like how fun is that? And I love the like graphic of it, like how it's very like in your face. They're super plain on the side. It, like this is completely see-through, there's no glass there. Um, I don't know, and again, it's like just really good quality. Like it's thick, it's durable, like I'm really, really excited for this. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the pair that I originally saw on TikTok and I was like, I have to have that. 
but I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them on me. I'm a little disappointed about that. I was super excited for these ones. It has like a super fun side. Like how cool is that? I think what bothers me is that it doesn't fill in this part. I feel like maybe it looks like I have cat whiskers or something. Like, I don't know. I just, or even if I got rid of like this piece, I think I'd probably like it better. But I don't know. It's just, I might have to try different fun like makeup looks with it. Like this one will be cool to do like something neater with like my eyes, I think. But I don't know. I don't know if I can pull this one off and I'm kind of sad about it. But again, like it was so cheap that. I'm only out maybe $20 or $30, if anything, so it's not like it was a huge dent. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, and this next pair is like the craziest of all of them, and I knew going into it buying them that it would definitely be a 50-50 shot. Um, I've tried circle lenses in the past, and it's really not something that fits my face, but these ones were just so pretty, and being a Hufflepuff and somebody who likes to dress up for different Harry Potter events, I definitely saw this as being like a Harry Potter-inspired Hufflepuff fantasy-inspired shape. Um, so let's see how that looks. Here we go. <laughs> Like, they're so crazy. They're so fun. But, like, look at the detail. They're so pretty. They make me think of, like, if Luna Lovegood and Harry Potter had a baby, this is what the baby would be wearing. Like, I don't know. I just, it's so pretty. But I just, I don't know if it fits my face. It might be cute with, like, gold accessories. Honestly, though, I feel like a part of it is even if you feel like something doesn't necessarily match you, if you have the confidence, then that's all that matters. You have to have confidence to be able to pull off crazy things. So I feel like having all these different crazy frames is definitely going to help me try and find that confidence that I might not necessarily have all of the time. So, you know, you got to fake it till you make it. But again, like the quality is super good. It's super thick. Like, I don't know, like the frames are thick. The glasses are nice. I don't know, they just, they fit nicely and again, they like, they feel good. They feel comfortable on the face, which is amazing. Okay, back to these ones because I think these ones are my favorite. So the only thing that I didn't like about this company was the tracking system. It was kind of annoying not to um, have access to my account or what I ordered. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I had kind of a funky situation with that, but Basically, I placed my order. I paid with PayPal. So I got the confirmation through PayPal that I purchased this, but I never got an email confirmation from the company itself. So I was kind of nervous that my purchase didn't actually go through. So I ended up emailing them a couple of days after I ordered it. And like a day or two later, they emailed me back. But you could tell that this is, I think, a China brand um, because how they emailed me back didn't necessarily seem like English might have been their first language, which is fine. Um, but it basically was like, hey, yeah, you, they are on the way. Um, you can go through this link to ch check out your tracking information. So I went through the link, typed in my email, and they were able to pull up my order through my email address. So I found it that way. And it seemed kind of stuck in customs for a minute there. And they do say it takes, I think, like 20 to 30 days for you to get your shipment, which it was in that time frame. Um, I think most people get kind of stuck on that Amazon mind where you're going to get something within a couple days. But I knew going into it, it was going to take about a month to get them. And especially with prescription glasses, like you have to expect it's going to take some time. Um, but yeah, so like the tracking was a little bit weird for me and it was hard to kind of follow. It just, the overall tracking situation wasn't something that I prefer compared to other trackings that I've had through purchases. So that was honestly my only downfall. Like the packaging was great. Um, the quality of these are so much more than I expected it to be. Um, each and every single pair came in its own little pouch, which is a super nice, like, velvety material. I have six of these pouches now, which I keep these on, like, a hanging rack that it came with. So I might keep, like, one or two of them. Um, right now I'm just using this one to hold the rags because each pair also came with its own cleaning rag, which is amazing because... It's terrible to wipe your glasses on your shirt, and I know I do that a lot, and I need to stop doing that, um, but having these now is awesome. I have six of them because each one came with its own own cloth. 
So I'm probably gonna keep one on my nightside table, in the bathroom, at the office, in my purse, like. And then also each glass is came wrapped in plastic. So you know how you get a new makeup palette or a mirror and it has that film over the mirror that you have to peel off? It had that wrapped around the glass as part of it, which was awesome because I'm, I'm assuming that's meant for like if it breaks that the glass kind of stays stuck together on that um, sticky plastic. Um, so each pair came with that, each pair came in a pouch, and each pair came with a rag. And then it also, the whole box, all six pairs, came with one screwdriver, which is awesome. Like, how considerate to include a little mini screwdriver in there to fix it in case, like, your frames get wobbly or you need to make any adjustments. Um, I thought that was super cool that they threw a little screwdriver in there. And then they also gave me um, like a little ruler so that you can measure because when you order your prescription, you want to make sure you can measure between where your pupils are so that they know how to fit the glasses for you. Um, so they actually gave me a little ruler so that if I purchase any more in the future, I can use that as a reference on what measurements I need. And then it also came with a couple little coupon cards. So I'm going to link them down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Um, I'm super excited to play around and see how I can make fun outfits with these different glasses and hopefully I can find the guts to wear them all at some point. <laughs> so all in all, I got six pairs of prescription glasses and an organizer for them all and I think my total was between like $100 and $120 which is not bad at all for glasses. Sometimes if I go to America's Best, I get two pairs of frames for that much anyways. So getting six pairs is amazing and organizer and all these little cloths and screwdriver and everything like it was definitely 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 worth the purchase and I would recommend it to everyone like I already told three of my best friends and they're all interested so I would definitely check them out they have amazing unique styles again some of them are like way out there and if you are quirky and fun this is totally up your alley so if you like this video and you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below which pair was your favorite to see. And if you want to follow along on my no spend journey for 2021, go ahead and subscribe as well. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.